Okay, well, hey, this is Wesley Smith with Tree Service Digital. Hope you're having a nice week. Uh, we're gonna get started with the webinar on how to optimize your tree service website for conversion uh, to get more calls, you know, get more uh, leads so you can grow your sales and revenue for your tree care business. And I'll go ahead and share my screen with you now so you can see the slides that we've got prepared for you today. Let me enhance that image there. Okay. So yeah, this is gonna be all about, you know, why you need a website that converts in your local market. Maybe you're getting traffic to your website right now, and maybe your website's older. Maybe it was built back in 2010 or 2013 before the big mobile friendly push, and perhaps it's not mobile responsive, and so it doesn't look right on a mobile device, which that compromises probably about 70 to 80% of all searches. So you wanna make sure your website responds to the size of the screen and be mobile friendly, mobile responsive. In the last three or four years, most of them have been built that way, but a lot of people, I see a lot of tree care providers still have an older website that's still not mobile friendly. So we're gonna get into all that about the website. It's not gonna be super long, but we're gonna go over the highlights and the key points. Uh, so what we typically do here at Tree Service Digital, we talk about the digital dominance method. Uh, and the digital dominance method is pretty much everything you need to dominate your local area for tree service, tree care, tree removal searches which leads to a lot more business because people are searching every day. So number one thing is your website, you know, built to convert so that when you do get those visitors, they actually call you or fill out the contact form. Uh, and then your SEO to make sure you get, you know, ranked at the top and your map listing actually shows up at the very, very top there in your city. Uh, number two is pay-per-click marketing, which, you know, if you've got crews and, and you need more calls, this is a really great way to blanket your entire metro city. You know, you can, expand out 20, 30 miles, depending on the population. Um, retargeting is where all of the people that have been on your website recently see ads on you know, the sides of websites and also on Facebook that retarget those website visitors that have already been on your website. So those kind of help bring them back into your world and, and you get leads that way too. Number four is paid online directories, uh, you know, like Yelp or YP.com or Angie's List where you can kind of pay to have like a, a featured listing and get calls. Um, number five is email marketing. Uh, and social media. So email marketing, if you've got a database, if you're keeping up with all of your customers, name, email, phone number, address, uh, it's really powerful to send them a monthly newsletter. Uh, number six is pay per lead, which is like Home Advisor or Thumbtack where, you know, you can pay them 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks per lead. I usually only recommend that if you're not getting enough lead flow from the other methods. Uh, number seven is social media advertising. So you can run ads on Facebook, ads on YouTube, uh, we like to post on YouTube and get some of your videos uploaded to your YouTube channel with keywords. So people run into you there too. And then number eight is kind of a referral program where, you know, you can send out gift cards or uh, newsletters with, um, you know, different types of promotions or incentives for your clients to refer you business. So those are the eight ways you can really get a lot more business. Uh, so housekeeping, you know, if you really want to know what uh, your website needs to have on it to convert, then just, you know, you might want to turn off your cell phone and really pay attention to kind of what these items are. Uh, it's not rocket science, but it definitely needs to be there. And if you do it, uh, you will see a spike in calls if you don't have it already. Uh, and you can turn off Facebook. I mean, right now it's all hysteria anyway. Uh, if you're serious about doubling or tripling the leads that you pull from your tree service website, then the next 20, 30 minutes are critical. Uh, you're about to discover how to stop missing calls from visitors who land on your website. They got there, you want them to call. How to stop missing easy free estimate requests that your local market is looking for by adding this one thing to the homepage of your website and, and the other pages too, not just the homepage actually. How to convert more visitors to leads by adding easy testimonials to your website. So people like to see social proof and other people talking really great about you. It helps them make that decision to go ahead and call you. And you'd be surprised, you know, the more reviews you get, the better off you're gonna be with getting more leads. How to get back in front of all website visitors that bounce off your website. Uh, and why the internet, right? Why would you wanna do all this on the internet? Well, there's been a massive transition from offline to online over the last 10 to 20 years. You've probably noticed uh, nobody really goes to their yellow page books anymore. Uh, you just toss those in a recycling bin typically and you know, take out the trash with that. And uh, statistics tell us that more than 77% of consumers go online when looking for tree services. So they're, they're gonna go look up you know, tree service near me, tree removal contractor near me. And if you're one of those people at the top, you're gonna to get that call and you're gonna be out on site, giving them an estimate, building that relationship. There are over 10 million searches every month 
for tree service and removal services and trimming services uh, worldwide. So you only need a small percentage of those in your local market to get your share of those calls. Um, who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, I've been in the internet marketing space for close to 10 years now, so we've got the experience with website development, SEO, pay-per-click ads, social media, email marketing, you name it. And so we've kind of done all of these things and put it together in a package for our clients. Uh, we specialize in tree service contractor internet marketing. Um, and I just wrote a book. It's uh, really proud of this book. I want to show it to you. It's How to Win with Internet Marketing for Tree Service Contractors. So I'll stop the share and just show you this book really quick. But um, it's actually on Amazon if you wanted to get it there. It's only like a dollar, I think, or two for the e-version. Uh, but this is actually a hard copy or a paperback. And I'm happy to mail it out to you if you want a copy of it. But it literally goes through everything. It's got like all the local keywords for tree service contractors. It's got what to put on your website, how to run uh, pay-per-click ads, the exact ad copy that you need. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's how to win with internet marketing for tree service contractors and uh, grow your tree service business predictably with smart internet marketing strategies that work. So that's it. Uh, it's got the back on there um, too with kind of like a summary of everything. And it's got a nice index where you can look up any chapter anytime you want to, but uh, it works really, really well. It's a good book. We, it took us a while to put it together. You'd be surprised with how many um, you know, roadblocks you get with trying to publish a book. It's crazy. Uh, we've worked with dozens and dozens of tree service contractors across the U.S. and know what works to generate consistent new business. Uh, this is going to help you increase your sales and revenue for your tree service business. It's going to help uh, enhance your online reputation so that people think that you're the go-to tree service provider. And that just really helps you get more business too. It's going to help you drive more calls, leads, and profits uh, to your business and increase repeat and referral business. Um, and so the big problem is, is, you know, a lot of times you make these big investments in marketing and some things just don't work, you know, but if you get your internet marketing right, that's just where everybody goes in today's day and age to hire companies for whatever that may be. And home services is really big on the top of that list. Uh, maybe you're getting website traffic so far, it could be a problem, but you're just not getting enough leads from those visitors that are showing up already. Uh, and that's a problem because if you have your website just right, you're going to be getting those calls. Um, low return on investment or internet marketing company doesn't know the tree service business specifically could be the problem that you're facing too. It could be a general agency and they haven't seen enough tree service internet marketing, um, you know, problems, issues, anything like that, that come up so they don't know how to overcome those things. This, that's all we work with uh, and every business niche is different. So we specialize in your business on the internet. Uh, but your website needs to be great. You know, I mean, when people find it, you want personalized photos uh, on the header photo there. So just, you know, photos of your truck. And it needs to be one of the longer photos. Um, you know, your cell phones these days, a lot of times you take the picture and it's kind of like a long photo, like tall, and it just won't fit up in the header there. So getting a photographer to come out for like 80 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever they charge for like one hour, to come out and take some really high resolution photos of your business, maybe your trucks or the crew standing in front of the trucks, and have that as your header photo, it makes a big difference. It makes it really, really pop. Uh, but you got to build out your website thoroughly too. And so what Google looks for is a lot of pages on your website. So it needs to be really robust. Uh, typical tree service website has like three to five pages we've seen. Um, and they're not mobile responsive a lot of times because they're 10, 12, 15 years old. Um, and so you want it to have like a, a page for your services uh, in each service, like a page for tree trimming, a page for tree removal, page for tree pruning, stump removal, tree cutting, land clearing, whatever those services are that you provide, you need a specific individual page for that. And you'll end up ranking in your city for that term as well, which is just going to produce more, more traffic and more calls for you. Um, and you need a page for each one of the sub cities that you serve too. So if you're in a suburb of a metro area, say for example, wherever you may be, Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Atlanta, and there's probably 10 or 12 little suburb cities around, well, you want a page on your website for each one of those cities because it helps you rank in those cities too. And they're probably only 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes away. So you would like to work there too. And it needs to be mobile responsive. So you want to make sure it's mobile responsive if you're getting a new one built. Most of them these days are, but they need more than just to be mobile responsive. It needs a lot more things on it. Um, but, you know, all of your advertising kind of comes back to your website. You know, if you're doing pay-per-click marketing, generally you've got a separate landing page for that campaign. But people still go to the internet and look you up. And they want to find your website. They want to see, you know, a little bit more about you than what may be on the landing page sometimes. So, um, you know, all of your advertising and everything kind of goes into a, a funnel on the internet. People kind of get in there, but they end up on your website 
uh, and you want to convert these visitors to callers. Um, let me get back on that page here. Um, so you want a full schedule with your trucks running, you know, daily. You know, you want appointments. Uh, if you've got a sales guy, you want to make sure he's going out giving estimates so that your crews have plenty of work to do. And this is going to help you book those up. Um, and, and this is going to help you with momentum and consistent growth in your business if you have more leads coming in. You know, the more calls you have coming in, um, I can't stress it enough. I mean, you can be picky and choosy if you're smaller and just do the jobs that you want, make you more profitable. Uh, but if you're larger, you know, and you've got crews, you got to keep people busy. You want the phone ringing so you can keep everybody busy and make money, you know. Um, but your website's the hub. So everything that everybody does on Facebook or YouTube, um, Twitter, you know, LinkedIn, any of these other places, they're going to end up on your website. So it needs to be good. It needs to be personal. It needs to have pictures of, you know, the owner, an about page, and, and we'll help you with that. If that's something you need help with on how to kind of strategically put things together, <clears throat> but your website needs to be good and it really helps convert a lot more people to give you a call. So why is conversion so important? Let's take a look at the numbers um, of what a hypothetical situation looks like. And, and this is what we see. Um, so let's say scenario number one, there's somebody with a website, it's older, it's not mobile responsive, and people just don't feel that great about calling that business. Uh, maybe they get 500 visitors per month, but it's only converting at 3%, right? So only 3% of the people that land there uh, are going to call or do anything, which is about 15 calls. So at 15 calls, let's say you land a third of those, you're 33%, so you get five book jobs. And let's say your average invoice uh, or average estimate of work is $700. So if you do five book jobs times 700, you made $3,500 from your website. Not bad. I mean, it's a little, you know, income stream that comes in from that. Uh, but let's look at scenario number two, where you've got a website that really converts visitors to call you or fill out the free estimate form where you can call them right back. Uh, you get 500 visitors in this scenario. And let's say your website converts almost 10% of those visitors. So that's 50 calls or leads that you're gonna get as opposed to only 15. And this, these are real numbers, guys. I mean, some people's websites just don't generate leads. We see the traffic on it from Google Analytics, and it's getting a lot of visitors, but there's just not a lot of leads coming from it. And then we install a new website and monitor the Google Analytics afterwards, and they're getting a ton of leads after that. So that, that turns into 50 calls. And still, you're only converting, let's say, a third of those. Maybe some people call back a month or two later, but you, you convert a third of them pretty quickly. Uh, and that's 17 book jobs instead of just five book jobs. And then if your average transaction is still 700 bucks, you're going to make almost $12,000 off those same visitors. You know, that's way better than 3,500. It's, it's about triple the revenue almost. So it's very, very important to have your website convert. So hopefully that kind of puts it together for you and kind of makes sense. But why is getting your website built to convert important to you? You could type in the chat. I mean, if you, I think the chat box is open. You make sure the chat box is open. If you have any questions, you can just pop a chat in there. Um, I'll, I'll answer it anytime, you know, whenever I get a free minute going through the slides or whatever. But um, if you had a question about, you know, maybe your click to call is not on there or, you know, what, what to write on your contact forms, like get a free estimate or get a free tree care assessment, whatever that verbiage is. If, you know, we've seen pretty much all of it. We know it works. And we're going to get into that messaging here in just a second, too. But if you have any questions, you can just pop it in the chat. No problem. Or just, you know, to yourself, like why is getting your website built to convert important to you, you know? So moving on to the next one, um, 10 critical elements to enhance conversion on your website. So you want to speak to your target customers, really, you know, the word is avatar, which basically means, you know, what, what does that customer look like? Are they 30 to 50 years old, make a certain income? Uh, what are their fears and frustrations? And why should they choose you? You know, be real. Number two is be real. You know, use authentic images of your team on the homepage and throughout the website because people really like to see your trucks. And, and they may have already seen your trucks on the road in your local market. So by having a big picture of your truck, nice looking truck on the, the website, they're going to put two and two together. Like, oh, I've already seen them before. So that really helps convert a lot more people that find your website. So authentic images on the homepage and throughout the site. Uh, you can use video and multimedia elements to engage different modalities. So everybody's personality is different. So some people like videos um, <clears throat> and you don't have to have a professional video guys. You can do, uh, you know, you can do a video with your cell phone and just, just do like a selfie video, you know, Hey, welcome to our website here at XYZ tree service. 
We're really glad you visited our website. If you need a free estimate or any sort of tree care help here in the XYZ area, we'd love to help you. Just go ahead and call our office or fill out the form on this page and we'll be in touch with you to uh, schedule the appointment. Yeah, you know, just anything like that. You could do a selfie video, uh, you could do it on a computer screen, kind of like I'm doing here, and just record it and then put it on your website. That way they know exactly who they're dealing with. Um, you could leverage uh, you know, social proof, showcase your online reviews on the website, uh, and on the homepage with a tool like BirdEye um, or ReviewBuzz, where you, know, you get a testimonial and then it goes right to your website. It just syncs up and posts there. Uh, but the basics are you want to make sure you get the phone number in the top right hand corner of the website. And that's just really important, like positioning wise. It needs to be in the top right corner. Typically, your logo is in the top left corner. And then you've got your big header photo, you know, with a call to action on there, you know. But the, the phone number needs to be in that top right area. And then it's click to call. So people can just, when they're on a mobile phone, and going back to the beginning of the slides, it's 70 to 80% of the search volume is going to be on a mobile phone. So they're going to just tap it with their thumb. And you want to make sure it's click to call uh, able, you know. So ensure there's a web form for customers to fill out, you know, like get a free estimate, get your tree care assessment, et cetera. And um, that way they know they can just pop in their name, email, phone number, and then how can we help? They can type in what type of tree service they're looking for. And then you'll get that lead instantly right on email. And add credibility with authority symbols too, like your Better Business Bureau link or, or maybe a badge, maybe a logo. Uh, Angie's List, if you got a ton of reviews or Home Advisor, ton of reviews, or if you're a member of TCIA, or ISA, the tree care associations, those really help too. It makes people think that you're official, you, know, you guys are you know, on the up and up and, and really professional tree company. Uh, use special offers and coupons that match the service area. You know? So 10% off for veterans, 10% you know? um, online coupon, book online now and get 10% off. So, and make sure your website's mobile optimized with an easy click to call function so they can just tap it with their thumb. We always put an app on there to where you know, they can just type it with their thumb, it opens up their phone pad with the number and then they just hit dial. So that's responsible for three to 5% more calls uh, on your website itself. So you gotta have that. And start giving the clients the option to book online. So you really need that to be on there. Um, <clears throat> so what is the one element that will have the biggest impact on the results of your overall marketing efforts on the internet? And so I think we got a chat here, let's see what we got. Yes, the, the webinar will be recorded, Brad. So uh, we'll record it and then I'll send everybody an email with, uh, you know, with the recorded uh, version. It should be probably Monday or Tuesday we'll send that out. So no problem. All right, what's the one element that will have the biggest impact on the results of your overall internet marketing efforts? So you know, if you don't have a click to call functionality on your website now, please make, make it a priority to get that. If you have a web developer um, or if you want us to do it, whatever, but that click to call button, it's just gonna generate more calls. You'll notice it, you know, especially during the busy seasons, you're gonna notice that because you know, a lot of people are on a mobile device and, and they just need to just tap the thumb and just and make a call. If you don't have that, they're gonna to be too lazy to go and write down your phone number and then punch it into their phone. They're just gonna to go to the next website. So make sure you have that. Um, another thing is you wanna optimize all the pages on the site for conversion. So you want every one of the website pages to be built to convert. You know, um, so every page needs to have the click to call uh, phone number button. Every page needs to have the free estimate form so that everybody can just always put their information in. Um, so is your web website set up to convert visitors to callers? Just needs to look really good. Maybe a picture of your city if you don't have the picture of your trucks. I would really recommend something local, something like that. But your service areas here, so if you're in a, a larger metro area, you know, you want to have uh, a page for each one of the cities that you service. It makes your website bigger, larger, and it shows up in more search results in the local market. So if somebody types in tree service suburb one or tree service suburb two, your website will then ultimately show up there and you're gonna get calls in that market too. Uh, and you want calls to action, you know, like get a free estimate, schedule your estimate, things like that. Um, this one's click to call now, so you're telling people to go ahead and click to call right now. Uh, get a free estimate again. So you want, you know, request a free estimate, get a free estimate. So we build the homepage kind of like a landing page because you want people to call. That's really the number one goal. Um, so your website should have, to kind of recap this last little section, uh, it should have the, the number in the top right corner. It should have a web form where the customer can request a quote or a free estimate anytime they want. Links to your social media profile, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, 
uh, direct links to your online reviews, testimonials, company name, address, phone number on every page of the site. So typically you'll have that in the footer. Uh, and that really helps with your Google map listing because when it's in the footer of every page, Google kind of you know, crawls the internet and they know that your website synced up with your Google map listing and it helps it pop more, helps it show up more. Um, personality, you want real photos and videos of you, your team, your trucks, all that stuff. And a clear explanation of why they should choose your company. You know, family owned and operated, in business 30 years, certified arborist, you know, free estimates, whatever that is, just make sure you've got some things on there why they should call you. Uh, special offers and incentives, like 10% off for veterans or 10% off for senior citizens, et cetera. Um, mobile ready uh, version for your mobile visitors on the website. So that's how you set it up for conversion. Um, but navigation and page flows, you know, you want every one of the, the menu header uh, pages to be up here at the top. So it's easily, you know, clickable. So you can click it for different services you provide. The about page is important. We, what we see, we actually track like where the visitors go on the website in some cases. And you'd be surprised this about page gets a lot of traffic. The home page always gets the most because that's what shows up in the SEO search results a lot of times but the about page gets a lot of traffic too because people want to know who they're dealing with. And so they go to the about page and they'll look up the owner and, you know, look up the, what other information that you've provided on the about page. So it's important to get that kind of personal too, make that really good too. Uh, but you know, have clickable phone number buttons in the body of the text on each one of the pages. So, you know, the service pages, the uh, other city pages, the contact page, the about page, all those need to have a click to call button on it and mobile friendly. So when you shrink the, the size of the screen, so if it's viewed on a mobile device, you wanna make sure it's mobile friendly. And we always put this call now button at the bottom. That way, anywhere they scroll, they've got a, an, an opportunity just to click it right there and, and provide it, you know, just generate a phone call to your office. Uh, so what is your ideal customer avatar? This is really important for your local area. I mean, it, it's generally the same across the United States, but in some areas, the demographics are gonna be different. For example, in Florida, you know, a lot of people are, um, maybe seniors and, and certain cities are going to have a larger percentage of those. So you want it to kind of speak to those people a little bit more. Um, but the demographics are typically your customer is going to be a homeowner. They're going to be 35 years old or older, uh, mostly female, occasionally male, pretty much 50, 50 actually on the tree service calls married with two or three kids. They're going to have, they're going to be head of household, uh, 65,000 annual income and higher family oriented, reliable, easily frustrated, likes to please people and expects the same in return. Not handy, really. Uh, they just want to hire a tree guy to do the work. Uh, likes gardening, crafting, and arts. Lives in the suburbs, upper middle class neighborhood. Takes an interest in their community. And their pains and frustrations, on the other hand, are going to be the tree needs to be removed or pruned. It's not safe. So that's a pain. That's a frustration. You know, they want to get the work done. They can't get a tree service company on the phone or to return their call. So by you answering the phone and being responsive, you're going to win that business. Uh, need to get tree service issue resolved. Um, too busy to deal with it. So they're just too busy to deal with it themselves or it's just not safe and they don't have the equipment or experience to do it. Uh, and they're worried that the situation at the house could get unhealthy for the family. So they wanna make sure the tree gets taken down safely and securely. Their fears and implications are, you know, they, their, their fear of being ripped off or overcharged, you know, uh, paying too much for something they could have gotten elsewhere, uh, having home damaged by faulty workmanship, uh, having to wait around for the tree crew to arrive at the house and you're sitting there all day waiting, uh, being inconvenienced, trying to coordinate with the company uh, may cause a disaster at the house. You know, they've probably heard horror stories. Um, maybe the bill will be more than they can afford. So they like that upfront pricing structure too. That's one of their fears. Uh, their goals and desires are get the tree fixed. You know, having the issue behind them, having a well-kept home, uh, taking care of their family, um, living in a nicer, more luxurious home, drive a nicer car, kids healthy, happy, and successful, spend more time with family, travel and have fun with family, respect and approval from friends, family, and relatives, and peace of mind. So that's kind of your, you know, your basic customer that you're targeting. Um, messaging that works. So this messaging right here, it's also in the book. We got a lot of this stuff in the book as well. Um, but messaging that works is you know, same day service or emergency services or 24 hour service or on time service. I think on time service or prompt service is really good these days. Um, free estimates, pricing or upfront pricing or satisfaction guarantee, trustworthy crews and techs, uh, experienced arborists, these things help. 
uh, why work with us? You know, you want a why work with us section, it really helps too, because you kind of just paint the picture, like why work with us? Why should I call these people? Oh, okay, well they offer 100% customer satisfaction. They're licensed, insured, and certified. Uh, they've got insurance assistance, so they can actually get on the phone with my insurance and take care of the, the claim and get the tree removed. They've got affordable pricing. So some of these things are, you know, they're concerned, so it's good that you address it on the website. Why work with us? Uh, well, we've got, um, you know, this many reviews on Angie's List. We're a certified Angie's List member, Super Service Award. Um, you know, the best of Home Advisor, best of Kudzu. You could have your ISA badge, your TCIA badge, et cetera. And then you also want your reviews and testimonials on there too because people see that and it's social proof and then they want to call. So that really, really helps them. When somebody else says something good about a company, it makes them feel better about calling. Uh, make sure it's mobile friendly. So 4.8 billion people now are on mobile phones. So it better be responsive to their device that they're searching from. And more importantly too, on a mobile device, they're really, really motivated to call. So when they look it up on a mobile, they don't have the luxury of like being on a desktop computer or a laptop where they can just kind of click on everybody's website and look around. With a mobile, they're typically just gonna, gonna call that first one they land on and, and try to get an estimate scheduled or something like that. So it's really important with mobile. Um, three out of five consumers search for local businesses on their smartphone. Um, Google reports that 40% of mobile consumers turn to a competitor's website after a bad mobile web experience. So that's 40%. So 40% of people, if they get to your website and it's not mobile friendly and they get discouraged or frustrated because they can't find a click to call number, they're just going to bounce. And maybe, you know, cause like, like I said, maybe there's somewhere where they can't write anything down. They can't really take the time to put the number in their phone. So by just having that click to call button, you're going to get that call. That's 40% of people bounce if it's not mobile friendly. Uh, showcase online reviews. So you can tell them, you know, win a $50 gift certificate if you give us a review. Um, you could give them tickets to the, the baseball game or football game or whatever. And just have your review links there too to where it's easy, you know, for them just to click on it and go give you a review. And here's some other reviews that people have on their website. Uh, so key ideas. Uh, add real authentic images of your team to the homepage and throughout the website. We're going to kind of recap a little bit more. Um, add video elements to your website. So if you can just get a selfie video or even videos where you're on a job, maybe you don't want to film yourself on the video, but just maybe film your crews, your jobs, you know, doing the work and cutting down a tree. It's, it's still personal. It's still you on site. And you don't even really have to talk necessarily. Just have the video. And then when you upload it on your website, it's there and people can watch a video of, of what you guys would be doing or maybe a picture of your truck or videos of your trucks, your crews. Uh, it just really helps. Um, videos for each one of your services if you want to. Website welcome video. Video explaining why someone should contact you versus the competition. Showcase your online reviews more prominently on the homepage because that's really where it, what gets the most traffic is your homepage. Uh, but get the basics in order too. Going back to the previous slides, phone number in that right hand corner. So it's easy to find. Ensure that there's a web form that customers can fill out on each page to get a free estimate or to schedule an appointment. Add credibility, oops. Add credibility with authority symbols like Better Business Bureau, Angie's List, um, ISA, or uh, TCIA. All those logos really, really help, the associations. Uh, update the calls to action on each page to ensure they speak to your customer avatar, so your typical customer and tell them exactly what to do next. Hey, call now for a free estimate. You know, call now for prompt service. You know, uh, call now for friendly service. You know, how, whatever you wanna put on there that's unique to you is gonna help get more of those people to call. Um, you could add, uh, you know, leverage coupons that offers the, the page that they're on. So if they're on the tree removal page, say $100 off any full tree removal, you know, you could offer something like that. Um, you could leverage coupons. Okay, so that's what the services. You could add live chat to your website. That's another option if you think that you want to test it. You could. There's a lot of different chat services you could put on there, and sometimes you get you get more leads if you have chat on there. And we've tested it. Offer clients the option to book on the internet. Um, here's a testimonial recently from a client that we have, uh, Jack Leak. He says, "I'm busier now than ever during the winter season, which normally doesn't happen." I gave 10 estimates today. So we just filmed this uh, testimonial video and I uploaded it to the YouTube channel for Tree Service Digital. Uh, so you should check it out if you wanna watch the video. It's a, it's a nice quick little testimonial video. I really appreciate Jack doing that, that for me and for us. 
Uh, we built him a brand new website. It converts. His Google listings pop at the top of the uh, local market. He's getting a lot more calls than he generally did before. And um, so, yeah, that's a that's a recent testimonial. You can check it out. You ought to subscribe to our YouTube channel, too, if you're on there. Um, and Charles put, Wes and Tree Service Digital are total professionals and gave us critical advice on SEO and increasing our web presence. His non-sales approach with his level of expertise are real assets to our business and are truly appreciated. And Tyler says, Wes and his team are top-notch and professional. They provide outstanding website building services. And my company is steadily growing thanks to the constant hard work that these guys continue to deliver. SEO services took about 60 to 90 days to start kicking in. However, when they did, it truly made a difference. So you wanna make sure you optimize all those pages on the internet for your site so they convert better and you get more leads. So which one of the following should you implement in your business now uh, that will have a positive impact on your conversion rate? So you know, getting more visitors to call you or fill out the contact form. So pick three of them and make sure you implement them in the next 30 days. You know, if you have an older website and it's not mobile responsive, uh, you're not really going to be able to implement some of these things. You're going to have to make sure you update your website. And we do websites uh, for our clients as well uh, with our marketing package. So if that's something you want to talk about, certainly we can help you with that too, implement those things. Uh, but that will be first order of business because Google actually is um, not uh, allowing some of the non-mobile friendly sites to rank anymore starting two or three years ago. So if it's if it's not mobile responsive, you're going to have some um you know, probably slower load speeds, and it's not going to probably be on the first page. We have seen some markets where they still do show up, but you want to make sure that it's mobile responsive because that's what Google wants and that you have all these elements on there too. So just pick three. If that's, you know, click the call button, make sure there's contact forms on the homepage, and then put testimonials on your homepage, put some of those um, different, you know, Better Business Bureau icons, Home Advisor, ISA, TCIA icons. So just pick three and make sure you do those things. Uh, is your website optimized to convert? Does it speak to your target? Um, let's see. This is an overview of everything. Does it speak to your target? Does it address their fears and frustrations and speak to why they should choose you? Does it have real authentic images of your team to the homepage and throughout the website? Does it include video elements, web, uh, website welcome video, videos for each one of your services, uh, a video explaining why someone should contact you versus the competition? Does it showcase your online reviews prominently on the homepage with a tool like BirdEye or ReviewBuzz? We've actually got a really nice tool that um, you know, helps you request those from your clients after every job. And that uh, makes it really easy to get those five-star reviews on your Google listing, Facebook page, different things like that. So it really helps. Um, do you have the phone number in the right-hand corner? Uh, you know, click the call number in the right-hand corner. Does it make it easy for them to take action and get in contact with your company? I've seen plenty of websites, guys, where like the phone number is just nowhere to be found. You know, I, I'm, I'm on there on a computer and I'm looking on it from a big computer screen and I'm looking and I can't find the phone number. So that's not good. You wanna make sure you've got that on there. You know, just that's very, very, very important. Ensure that there's a web form that customers can fill out on every page. Maybe not every page, but most pages. Uh, add credibility with authority symbols like your BBB and Angie's List, Home Advisor, and update the calls to action on each page to ensure they speak to your customer and tell them exactly what to do next. You know, call for a free estimate, fill out this form for a free estimate, book your appointment now. You can do, you know, click the call buttons, live chat, different things like that. So, um, well, thanks so much for staying to the end. We have a, a free online marketing plan review if you're interested. It's free. We just go over everything on your current website, your local market, how to generate more calls, what we find as far as like search volume, search behavior, um, different things that uh, people are searching to call tree service companies in your local market. And we'll go through everything, kind of see where you're at, where you want to go. Uh, but we'll look at your online visibility. Uh, we'll develop a custom keyword list of the most important search terms for your local market. Uh, ranking report showing where you rank currently analysis of uh, your online directory listings and, and how you're cited across the internet in these directories. It's really important to make sure those are consistent with your name, address, phone number, and website. Uh, we'll look at your online reviews and your reputation and get a game plan for fixing that if it's a little lower than you want. Um, analysis of your social presence, analysis of website conversion effectiveness to make sure if you're getting those visitors, you're actually getting calls and you're actually getting leads. It's really, really important for any business and certainly for tree service business too, because it's just a numbers game. You know, the more people that call, the more people you're gonna go see and give estimates to, 
and the more successful your business is going to be. So you can give me a call after this ends if you want at 770-637-3707. Happy to schedule with you there over the phone. Or you can simply visit the website treeservicedigital.com uh, forward slash schedule. So that's treeservicedigital.com forward slash schedule. And I'll be happy to set that up for you there. And we'll, we'll go over everything, your keyword report, your website visibility analysis, all that stuff. So did you have any other questions? You guys have any questions, let me know. Let's see if I can pull up the thing here. So if you have any questions, you can pop it into the uh, chat box. We'll be on for another couple of minutes. And let's see, but that's it. Yeah, so the free online marketing plan review. So you can take advantage of that, it's free. We'll go over everything in your market. Kind of do a video share like this. So we kind of can be on the same page as far as uh, your local area, what questions you have. We'll make it easy for you. That way you don't have to really think about it or worry about it. Um, let's see if we got any other questions here. But if anybody has any questions, let me know. We'll certainly uh, go over them for you. Well, guys, I hope you have a nice uh, Friday, rest of your day, and a great weekend. If we can help you with anything, uh, let me see if I've got a question here on the other one. A few pages of this to lay out things. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, Sam, we'll see if we can get you this. Um, I can just send you over this PowerPoint if you'd like. No problem at all. Um, let's see here. All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody has a great weekend. If you need anything, just give me a call or you can go to treeservicedigital.com forward slash schedule. And I'll be more than happy to go over your online, uh, you know, marketing plan in your market. All right. Well, have a great weekend, guys. And we will see you guys soon.